So sometimes when they are out there, they are not able to ask. But when they come closer to you, like kind of have become your friend, then they ask, hey, please, so can you have sex? And I'm like, ah, why? Am I not a human being? I have feelings. And we have other persons with disability or physical disability who have given birth, who have had sex, got pregnant, and have given birth. So why are you asking? That is one of the weird questions Christiana Nkrumah, a physically challenged person, is asked daily concerning her sexual and reproductive system. Many people think because she suffers a form of disability, it means she can't have sex. Even Christiana's boyfriend, whom she thought had accepted her personality, consistently doubts her ability to give birth. And others also doubt whether you can even be pregnant and give birth for them. So I remember I dated a gentleman who was like, if you want me to marry you unless I get you pregnant. And I was also saying that my, my belief doesn't tell me that way. If you don't believe that I can give birth, then pack your things and go. So that ended the relationship. He was doubting my, 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 productive, uh, uh, yeah, my productive system, whether I'll be able to give birth. Accessing information on reproductive health is always a dilemma. It is an option most persons with disabilities would not dare venture. Not because the information may not be available, but due to the fact that they are often seen or expected to be non-sexual and mostly treated with disrespect. Living a life filled with challenges as a disabled person, being pregnant or having a child is an extra hurdle for Faustina. Not because she cannot take care of her baby, but due to the way she is treated by the society she lives in. Being wheelchair bound and mother to this beautiful baby, she shared her experiences with men and their families. <laughs> Communication barriers, absence of ramps, accessible healthcare equipment, hospital forms not capturing details about a person's disability, distance, economic capacity, and so on have served as barriers to accessing information and services about the reproductive health of the disabled. It is every mother's joy to bring forth a healthy baby. But for a mother with a disability, your nightmare is to bring forth a child with a disability, just like you, due to the harsh conditions and stigma by society. Patience Atipoka Atua, GH1 News.